This is a traditional French fish soup that fishermen used to make using eel and rockfish and lots of vegetables. So like chowder, there's lots of variations of this recipe. But the difference in this and chowder is that there's no cream. It's a tomato-based one. So we need to get our base done. The herb I'm going to use, first of all, is bay leaves. I'm going to just literally just tear that, just to release the flavour. So you've got to be careful with bay leaf because it's a lovely aromatic herb, but too much of it can overpower. A good slug of some rapeseed, or you can use some olive oil in this. So a good drizzle of that. And then we're going to get all our lovely vegetables in here. Some leeks. These are little baby leeks. Regular leeks are fine. Just make sure that they're washed. Your tomatoes. Your onions, which are sliced. And then some peppers. So this is going to give lovely flavour, a little bit of sweetness and some colour, and a touch of chilli. The chilli is optional, so I've just used half a chilli. It's not overly spicy. It's a lovely aromatic soup. And then our fennel into the pan and then throw in the bay leaf. So there's lots of colour. There's going to be really nice flavour in this. And I'm just going to let that just cook out for a minute or two. So the best way to do this is to put the lid on it and just let it cook. So I'm going to put in some saffron. Saffron is one of the most expensive spices. This is some Spanish saffron. I'm going to put some in there. The rind of an orange. So we're going to use the potato peeler. So I'm just going to peel it. And we're going to put in two or three of these if you're peeling the potato. So four of them should be enough. And then we're going to put in some, one of my favourite spices, star anise. I love this. Poaching fish, steaming fish, it's gorgeous. Even in fresh fruit salad, it's delicious, so it is. So let's come back over here. Give this a little stir. And immediately what I can smell is a little touch of the chilli, but the bay leaf. I'm going to throw in the two star anise and just a couple of little strips of the orange and then saffron. So a nice, generous pinch. Sprinkle that all over here works really well with the tomato base in this tomato puree. Spoonful of this, and then I'm just going to stir this all through. So there's no flour in this. It's a really lovely, light, aromatic soup. If you don't have fresh tomatoes, you can use a can of lovely plum tomatoes in this. So I've seen some recipes with white wine in this, but I'm going to use some perno. So when you think of it, the fennel bulb, that's an aniseed flavour. Then we have the star anise, and then the perno. So a good splash of this. It works really well with fish in a sauce. Now, just let that cook out. So in the saucepan here, I have a little bit of homemade fish stock. And how we make that is just using some white fish. So that can be haddock, cod, turbot, monkfish tails, but it's the bones you're using and any of the trimmings. You put them into a saucepan, cover them with some water, a little bit of leek, a little bit of onion, star anise, white wine, a little bit of herb, maybe fennel. It's gorgeous. And you cook it for 20, 25 minutes. So it cooks really, really fast. So this is some warm stock here. We've softened all our vegetables. They're not fully cooked. We're going to bring this to the boil. Stir that through, and now I can get the aniseed. Now I can get the orange. And it's interesting, orange with fish, but it works really, really well in the soup. So that needs to come to the boil. We put the lid in that. Now I'm going to talk through the lovely fish and shellfish that we're going to be using in this recipe. So we have a lovely selection of Irish shellfish and fish. So always make sure when you're getting your fish, you know where it comes from. Support your local fishmonger, really important. First one here is monkfish. Quite a firm texture, I love this. So it's taken off the bone and there's no membrane. So it's classed as a round fish. Then we have some white in here and I've kept the skin on this. Removed any scales that are on it and there's obviously no bones whatsoever. Then some lovely Dublin Bay prawns are known as langoustines. These are just fantastic. Some mussels. Obviously wash them, remove the beard, and uh, we're going to put these in. And then some hake. And what I've done, I've used the tail of the hake. It's not the centre loin, removed any of the excess scales and the, obviously the skin is on it. You can use cod, you can use haddock. One thing I wouldn't put into this is maybe salmon or trout or that. It's kind of a white fish, which was traditionally used in this. So this is coming to the boil. So in goes our mussels. Sprinkle them all over. And then our Dublin Bay prawns. They're lovely and sweet. Them are beautiful whiting. You can see I've cut it like a little angle like that and it looks really nice for presentation. And them are monkfish. So this doesn't take long at all. We just need to put a little bit of salt and pepper and we're actually poaching the fish and the shellfish in this beautiful soup. Just push it down. And this will take eight, 10 minutes, no longer than that. A little touch of salt. The lid goes on. You bring it to the boil and then you let it simmer. And this is gonna take about eight to 10 minutes until it's just beautifully cooked. So after eight minutes, your fish should be cooked. And just to make sure, we'll just take a little bit of the monkfish and we'll put it on the board just to make sure that it's cooked through. That's falling apart, it's moist. So you're keeping all the flavour in the pot. That's exactly what you want. 
So we're not going to waste that. Taste it. See if it's enough season. I think it needs a bit more. Because in a homemade fish stock, you don't use salt. So then you can adjust the seasoning and then some fresh basil. Just kind of tear it like that. So fresh herbs are just at the end. You could use some of the little sprigs of the fennel bulb if you want it in this, or dill. Now. So I'll just try and get some of the vegetables down at the bottom. Look at that. So you have a little bit of monkfish. We're whiting, hake. The mussels are opened up. And just be gentle because when the fish is kind of poached in this, it can fall apart. And then the lovely langoustine. So when you cook it in the shell like that, so much flavour. So that is a meal in a bowl, if there ever is one. Traditionally what they would do is toast some bread and serve with a little bit of garlic or saffron mayonnaise and just serve with some crusty bread. Works really well. So it's a beautiful use of Irish seafood and that's my traditional French fisherman soup. Irish seafood. Easy to prepare and easy to cook for everyday meals.